<sighs> hey everyone, this is Flick Hammer. Welcome back to Let's Play Shadow of the Colossus. In the last part, we took an eternity, but still managed to miraculously beat on our first try what I consider to be the worst Colossus in the whole game, named Solo the 11th Colossus, Solosia. In this part, we are going to take on the Colossus where I couldn't be. We basically reached the point of the game where I actually just left off when I played at my... When I was with my friends, this was the Colossus I basically got up to and basically just gave up. So basically, the after the next... Basically, everything after the 12th Colossus, I'm basically going in blind. Because this boss, for one thing, has a reputation for being so godforsakenly annoying Difficult to figure out. Thank God there's an extra path here. Also, I noticed the... So this is supposed to be the area where we're supposed to go. Come on. So yeah, like I said, because of this Colossus, I'm basically going in, in this blind. Oh wait, I already found the shrine here. Basically found the shrine while I was doing some off-screening. Okay, this is where we have to go. And I'm really not looking forward to it. The only thing that I could think... See, that's kind of the thing when it turns to bad bosses. Like, even though when you know how to beat it, it still takes an eternity to figure out. And I'll, so it's the same thing with Boss Ran, Solosia. And this won't be no different. But like I said, I never got past this Colossus and couldn't finish the game because of it. So we go into this forest. Come on, aggro, let's go. Come on, aggro, let's go. This also really doesn't help that I got exams coming up next week, and like I said in the last part, as of this recording, dance practice got canceled because of complicating reasonings with my captain, who I feel like is not getting any respect whatsoever, and that pisses me off. Okay. We basically gotta go up this cliff. Aggro can stop freaking. I'm gonna keep kicking you, Aggro, so you can go faster. Come on! I'm just praying to God that there's a shrine nearby. But then again, even when I manually save, it just takes me straight back to the altar. Wait, is that... Shit. I just saw... Alright, well the shrine's right in front of my face. Stop. Okay, stop moving. There we go. Got the lizard's tail at least. So I can come here, pray. This is found the shrine and I got the lizard's tail, so I don't have to worry about killing it now. Alright. And this is another one of those bosses where I really don't need aggro. Yeah, honestly, from here on out, all of the remaining I think up until the next Colossus fight, we don't really use aggro that much. And aggro can't even reach me, because I even found out... Alright. Let's go, Wander. Alright, now comes the absolutely annoying and tedious part. We gotta go here, get our magic blowy sword out. Yeah, we have to swim our way to the Colossus. This is basically the equivalent of what ha is what happens if we fell off that giant chasm when we went to fight Gaius. 
And of course, even if you hold down R2, it takes an eternity just to swim all the way there. But then again, I managed to build myself a lot of stamina, mostly because I needed it for the Solosia fight, because it takes a... because I really hate that boss. But the swimming is especially going to be useful for this next Colossus. So this is the area where we have to go. If we can freaking make it. I'll give the area this. It's nice, calm, and peaceful at the very least. Alright. Alright. Trigger the next cutscene. And I introduce you to the Colossus that basically stopped me from progressing any further. What many people consider to be the most annoying Colossus in the game. And the second shitty Colossi fight in a row. Thy name, the 12th Colossus, Plagia. Alright, now design-wise, Plagia doesn't look too bad. And basically, it's a creature rising out of the water, and I'll admit, it definitely looks stunning in the PS4 remake. Same cannot be said about the boss fight. Unfortunately, much like Kumarori and, and Basaran, this is another one of those colossi that basically shoots lightning at you. Though, fortunately, but here's the really stupid thing. You actually have to swim into its backside as it keeps circling around you. See, just when you're about to... Because that's the idea. You have to get on Plagia's legs, but as soon as you get near it, it just constantly circles around you. Hold freaking still, you... Sick bastard! See, this is basically like the Bassaran fight, but worse, because you're basically you're trying to get on top of its legs. Basically, you gotta try to fuck with it and go around the other way and make sure it doesn't... You need to get in its line of sight, but as soon as you get... See, as soon as you get close, it runs away. It's bullshit. See, thankfully when you're in the water, the lightning doesn't hit you. just really doesn't help if you have to freaking lure it somewhere. Mm. Alright, well fortunately I like Kumarori and Kumori, whatever the eight Colossus was, at least at least they actually got the goddamn courtesy to not make the electric spread like poison at least. And at least the game designers also made it convenient not to let the freaking Colossus... Okay, like, what the fuck is this bullshit? You know what's he doing? I am literally directly under Plagia, and the camera and the water effects are just screwing with me now. Only to find out... Okay, well I finally got it! Come on! Stop frick- thank you. Right, let's 
finally got onto the Colossus. I finally got onto Plagia. As you can see, it's an annoying ass process to get through. But now here comes the really stupid part. As soon as I can make it, maybe I can stop freaking shaking. Okay. Stop. Alright, so here's the really stupid part. So you have to use your magic... So you have to use your magic blowy sword to hit its rock teeth. So you can reach higher ground, so that way you can fight on managed to hit you. So that way it can use its hind... And there's its weak spot. Now let me ask. How the fuck was anyone supposed to know that? Oh, and of course, if... Alright, and of course, as soon as that happens, your only safe spot is destroyed, and you can't even reach it. Great. Once again, you have to circle around on your... This is basically, like I said, this was the point of the game where I pretty much gave up. So now you basically gotta find another spot where you can... So now I just basically gotta find another or spot where I can frickin' like get to its weak spot. Okay, like as you can tell from the recording time, we're only like 12 and a half minutes. It doesn't seem long, but it just takes an eternity. Okay, so there are two more things. So hit it. Hit it. Stupid rock teeth. Get it. Move over, you motherfucker. Got lucky there. Wander. Get your ass. Okay. See, this is the thing I really don't like about this boss. Everything just seems like slow and awkward and you're trying to get played to go over the right precise freaking moment. The other way! Other way! Other way, dumbass. There we go. Okay. Get behind the pillars. I think it's mostly because the only reason I'm very much better against Plagia here than I did in the PS2 version is only because of the new control scheme. There we go. Alright. Well, that took it an eternity and a half, but we managed to slay Plagia. Huh. If I could somehow manage to do it here, I can do it in the PS2 version. But again, like, how the hell are you supposed... I mean, unless you, if you haven't seen, like, a walkthrough of the game, how exactly were you supposed to know to go to the, um, like, the stomach? Like, how are you supposed to know that? 
And like I said, the process was annoying and tedious, but we managed to win still. And since basically this was where I stopped in the PS2 version, the last four Colossus, I'm the last four Colossi in the game, I'm basically going in blind at this point. Wait, what's happening? Okay, who the hell are these people? Who's Ricky Ray? Who's Toby Turner? Who the fuck are you? Who is that? Alright, whatever. We have like 12 shadowy figures watching over us now. And the stuff to now the statue of Plague has been destroyed. Took me about five years to beat this boss, but I managed to do it here, not on the PS2 version, but whatever. Kicking the dead horse, we're now 75% done with the game. We just need to slay the last four colossi, which like I said, since I've never fought, we're basically going in blind. After two crap bosses against both Celosia and Plagia, I'm not having high hopes here. Let's see. So this looks like the Plagia. No, that's it over there. One more here. One there. So yeah, many statues have fallen. There's the Plagia statue, and we only have. So we had to fight two really bad Colossi boss fights between Celosia and Plagia. And there's the Sparbury fight Plagia. But I don't want to torture myself to do that again. Thankfully, in the next part, we're going up against the Colossi who have said by many to be the best Colossi in the whole game. Though, as of right now, I still think that the fifth Colossus, Avion, is still the best boss fight. So, I'm going to call it a night here. I'm gonna manually save, and in the next part, I'm Flip Can Gamer, and in the next part, we are going to take on the 13th Colossus Phalanx. See you guys next time. Bye.